Now, in this lecture, we're going to talk about the get snapshot before update React lifecycle hook. As you know, we are learning the update phase of the React component. In update phase, React will first call get derived state from props, then it will call the should component update, then React will call the render method. After that, React will call get snapshot before update, and at the end, React will call component did mount. This method is very interesting because in the get snapshot before update method, you have access to the properties and state before the update. Meaning that even after the update, you can check what the values were before the update. Let me show you what I want to say. Let me just create a simple example to understand how this method works in the React component. I'm going to just add this method inside my updating.js component. So let me just comment this should component update because I'm not using it. And I'm going to just change a few things here. Instead of gender, I'm going to change the year. So I'm going to say here year and specify here 2020, the previous year. Just after that, I'm going to change this handler function as well. Instead of change gender, I'm going to say change year. Let me copy it, specify that here. Don't forget to change this state property as well. I'm going to just copy this key, specify that here, and I'm going to update my year. So I'm going to just add here current year 2021. Don't forget to change this key right here and here. And I'm going to change this title as well. I'm going to say here current year is and then I'm going to specify here this dot state dot year. Now let me just add my hook here inside this component. As I said earlier, using get snapshot before update hook, you can get the previous value of your state or property. Let me show you. Just down here inside the JSX, here I'm going to add h1 heading tag like this and specify ID to it. And I'm going to specify ID before. Inside this ID, I'm going to add the before value of the state. Just after that, I'm going to duplicate this h1 heading tag like this and I'm going to specify here after. So inside this h1 heading tag, I'm going to print the after value of my state. So what I'm going to do is inside my component right here, I'm going to simply add get snapshot before update. Then I'm going to pass here parentheses and a curly braces. Now, as you know, we are not creating this method. We are implementing this method. So with this method, you can get two parameters. First is a previous properties. So I'm going to say here previous props. And second is a previous state. Using both these parameter, you can access the previous state and previous property. I'm going to simply say console.log and inside single code, I'm going to copy this function, paste it here and say get snapshot before update called. So when this function called, I'm going to get this console message and I'm going to just print my previous state as well like this. And just out of that, just down here, I'm going to say document dot get element by ID and inside it, I'm going to simply call before this h1 heading tag. I'm going to just access this h1 heading tag here, this before h1 heading tag with this ID and I'm going to change its inner HTML. So I'm going to say here before dot inner HTML is equal to and inside this h1 heading tag, I'm going to just simply print before the update the previous year was and I'm going to just concatenate the previous state dot year. As you know, inside my state, I have this year key. So I'm going to just access that key. Just after that, let me specify here parentheses and I'm going to return previous state. If you want, you can return here null as well. If you remove this statement from this function, you will get a warning. This function should return something. So for now, I'm going to just return this previous state. If you want, you can return null as well. Now, keep in mind, if the get snapshot before update method is present, you should also include the component did update method. Otherwise, you will get an error message. We'll talk about the component did update method in the next lecture. But just for the requirement, let me just add here component did update method like this. And I'm going to pass here parentheses and curly braces. Inside this method, I'm going to copy this document dot get element by ID, this statement. And instead of before, I'm going to print the after value of the state. Let me just copy this after ID, specify that here. And right now, instead of before, I'm going to say after the update, the current year is, and I'm going to print my current year here. And just for that, 
when I click on this button, I want to change this year to 2022. And just out of that, inside this console.log, here I'm going to simply say in the double quote, I'm going to say handler function. So this says when I click on this button, I'm going to just call this handler function. Let me just save this file and try to execute it. Oops, I'm going to get an error message. Oops, I'm going to get an error message on line 24. Let me just back to my example on 24. Yeah, I don't have this variable inside this function. Instead of previous state, here I'm going to just say this dot state dot year. I'm going to print the current value of the state. Using this function, I'm going to print the previous value of the state. And using this component did update, I'm going to print the current value of the state. Let me save this file now. As you can see, when I reload the browser, I'm going to first get the initial value, which is 2020. Inside my UI, you can notice here we have the current value is 2020. Then the React will call the constructor and the render method. Now, let me just click on this change gender button. When I click on it, you can see I'm going to have here a message. Before the update, the previous year was 2020. This is the before value of the state. You can notice in the console, when the get snapshot before update method call, it will return the year 2020. Now, let me just add a simple set timeout function inside this component with component did mount method. When the component is mounted, React will call the component did mount method. Let me just add that method at the top. Here I'm going to say component did mount and inside it, I'm going to simply say set timeout and as a callback function inside it, I'm going to say this dot set state inside that I'm going to specify year in the double code 2021 and just for that after three seconds, I want to execute this function. So I'm going to specify here 3000. So after the component is mounted, after three seconds, I'm going to just change the state and specify 2021 to this year. Let me save this file and try to execute it. As you can see, after three seconds, React will update this component. This will just print the previous value as you can see here. And after the update, the current year is 2021. So I'm going to just change the value of the state when the component is mounted. So I'm just using this method to get the previous value of the state and I'm using the component did update method to get the current value of the state. Now let me show you what happened if I click on this change gender button. When I click on it, you can see react will call get snapshot before update method and I'm going to get here 2021. I'm going to change the state and specify here 2022. React will change the current state to 2022 and in the previous state, we have 2021. You can notice here. So you can notice how important this method is. You can access the previous value of your state or property using this get snapshot before update hook. With this get snapshot before update method, you will get two parameters. First is the previous property and second is a previous state. Using both these parameters, you can access the previous values of your state and property. In this example, we just use the previous state value. If you want, you can use these previous props as well to get the previous value of your properties. For that, you need to update the previous property. Now, keep in mind, when you use this get snapshot before update method, you need to implement this component did update method as well because this method is depends on this component did update. So I hope you understand how to work with this get snapshot before update react lifecycle hook. Next, we'll talk about how you can work with this component did update method.